Hey brothers and sisters, it's Sammy here. I just wanted to encourage you today with this thought. Don't let the blessing of God become an idol. You see, there's this passage in Numbers chapter 21 and verses 4 to 9, which refers to the Old Testament people of God, the Israelites, while they were in the wilderness. And this was one of the occasions where they were grumbling against God. It says in verse 5, that they spoke against God and against Moses and said, Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the desert? There is no bread, there is no water, and we detest this miserable food. Now, as a result of Israel's grumbling, God actually disciplines Israel in verse 6 by allowing venomous snakes to come among them. And these snakes bit the people and many of the Israelites died. And we see here that God's discipline actually worked. It actually caused Israel to recognize their sin and to turn back and repent and turn back to God. And this is what they say in verse 7. We sinned when we spoke against the Lord and against you. Pray that the Lord will take the snakes away from us. So Moses prayed for the people. And so Moses intercedes, and what the Lord gets Moses to do, in verse 8, it says, The Lord said to Moses, Make a snake and put it up on a pole. Anyone who is bitten can look at it and live. So Moses made a bronze snake and put it up on a pole. Then, when anyone was bitten by a snake and looked at the bronze snake, he lived. And so notice God gets Moses to build this bronze snake on a pole and gets Moses to lift up the snake. And whenever the Israelites were bitten, all they had to do was look at this bronze snake on the pole and they would live. Now, firstly, we see that this is a picture of Jesus. How we know this is because Jesus in the New Testament refers to this story in John chapter 3 and verse 14. And this is what he says. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the desert, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. You see, just as Moses lifted up that snake in the wilderness, so that whenever the Israelites were bitten and were going to die, by looking at the snake, they were saved from death. Likewise, this points to how Jesus, as the Son of Man, would be lifted up on the cross. And everyone who looks to him in faith would be saved from eternal death to eternal life. But the main point I wanted to make today was that this bronze snake on the pole was meant to be a blessing for Israel to bring healing and deliverance from death. But what's interesting is you find in the book of 2 Kings chapter 18 and verse 4, and this was referring to King Hezekiah, who was a good king in Israel, when Israel were in the land. And this is what it says about King Hezekiah in verses 3 to 4 of 2 Kings 18. He did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, just as his father David had done. He removed the high places, smashed the sacred stones, cut down the Asherah poles. He broke into pieces the bronze snake Moses had made. For up to that time, the Israelites had been burning incense to it. It was called Nehushtan. Notice that the very thing that was meant to be a blessing from God to Israel, that bronze snake on the pole that was meant to save them from death, became the very thing they started idolizing and worshipping. And so I wanted to encourage you guys today, don't idolize the blessing of God. You see, there might be some of us here today listening in who might have been blessed by God with a job. And there's nothing wrong with having a job. It's a blessing from God. In fact, 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 10 tells us if a man shall not work, he shall not eat. But so often we can start working so many hours in that job that all of a sudden it takes time away from attending church on a Sunday 
and also takes time away from being able to spend intimate, quiet time with Jesus each day. That job becomes so busy and we spend so many hours each week in that workplace earning money that it takes us away from seeking Jesus. And so the very job that was a blessing from God has now become an idol that takes us away from God. You know, there might be some of you here, some of the guys who have been blessed with a godly wife. You know, Proverbs chapter 18 verse 22 says, He who finds a wife finds what is good and receives favour from the Lord. And there might be some of you girls who have been blessed with a godly husband. And yet, it can get to the point where we focus so much on the relationship itself that it stops us from being able to seek Jesus for ourselves and to spend time with him one-on-one. -on -one. And so the very thing that was a blessing from God, marriage, can actually become the very distraction that stops us from seeking Jesus and living out his purpose. In fact, in Luke chapter 14, verses 8 to 20, these were some of the very distractions, the very excuses that people gave that stopped them from being able to attend Jesus' wedding banquet. And so my encouragement for you today is don't let the blessing of God become an idol. And so I want to leave you with two questions. The first question is, what blessings has Jesus given me that I am tempted to idolize? It could be your job, your house, your finances, or your spouse. And the second question is, which of these blessings do I need to reevaluate and submit to Jesus in so that it no longer takes me away from him? And my prayer is that we would learn to submit these areas, these blessings that God has given, submit them back to Jesus so that we no longer idolize them above Jesus. And so let us pray. Jesus, please help me not to idolize or run after the blessings that you give me, but help me to run after and desire you above anything and everything else in this life. Amen. God bless you guys. Hope this could help.